So in this section, we're going to be working our way towards uh, learning about the scalar product. But to start off um, introducing this, let's uh, look at a specific problem of finding the angle between these two vectors, OA and OB. Okay? Now, one way of doing this would be just to find the angle using that right angle triangle and take away the angle using that right angle triangle, um, which is fair enough, okay? I want to be thinking about this more in general, so um, we want to be able to extend this up to three dimensions. Uh, so really what we want to think about is using the cosine rule. Uh, but I want to kind of like keep things in vector notation, okay? So the cosine rule would say that the length of this side squared, so the vector AB, the length of that side squared, okay, would be equal to the length of this side squared, so OA squared, plus the length of this side squared, so OB, so the length of that squared, take away two times that length times that length, so OA times OB times cosine of the angle theta. Okay, so that is the cosine rule using the vectors that we have. So, we can rearrange that to get cosine theta equals. So, cosine theta is equal to, and we would have OA squared plus OB squared, take away AB squared, over 2OA OB. OK, so in our case, what we've got is the OA would be equal to, and I'll write it in component form, 3i plus 5j, and OB is 7i plus j. OK, so we would have OA, the length of that, squared, so that would be 3 squared plus 5 squared square rooted. So that's OA with the modular signs, but we're squaring that. Plus OB, all squared. So, um, well, let's just get rid of the squared now. So squared and square root. Okay. So we'll have the 3 squared plus the 5 squared. We'll have the 7 squared plus the 1 squared. Okay, so square root that and squaring it. Take away AB squared. So we're going to need to work out AB. So AB is equal to OB minus OA. So 7 take away 3. 1 take away 5. So minus 4J. So we would have 4 squared plus negative 4 squared. all over two lots of the length of OA, which is the square root of 3 squared plus 5 squared, times the length of uh, OB, which is 7 squared plus 1 squared. OK. So... We would have 3 squared plus 5 squared, so 3 squared plus 5 squared, so we're getting 34 plus, uh, what's that, 49 plus 1, so 50, and then take away uh, 16 plus 16, so take away 32, all over um, 2 root 34 root 50. So 34 plus 50, take away 32, over 2 times root 34 times root 50. So that gets us 13 root 17 over 85. 
So if I put this into degrees, uh, inverse cosine of that is 50.9 degrees to 3 sigfig. Okay, so that would be the angle. So the idea is we want to be able to generalize this, right? So we want to be able uh, to write this in a more general form, this process, so that the vectors here, not only uh, do I need to write them as, say, A1i plus A2j, okay, and B1i plus B2j, uh, but I also want to be able to trade that up to 3D as well. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to generalize it in 2D and then we're going to trade it up to 3D after that.